Frank, nice to meet you. Uh, Brian Sandler, Chicago hey, Sun-Times. Um, just what did you think of the performance tonight, considering both the importance of the match and also what's happened, what happened uh, around this club yesterday? Yeah, I was. I think it was uh, – I mean, obviously, look, there are moments where we could have been better with the ball at certain moments because I think in the beginning we knew that they're a team that they press really well. And uh, we talked about, you know, once we win it, to play quick out of pressure or to have options vertically where we can play. But I thought that the guys, as the match went on, I think got stronger. I, I, I felt they worked extremely hard all the way to, to the end. And uh, it was just a great... Uh, Team win tonight, obviously, and uh, you know, a special night, also personally for me to have an opportunity to uh, come back on, on the field. I think I don't have any dark hair anymore. By then, I'll have zero. But it was really special because, you know, when I look on the bench and I have, you know, C.J. Brown that we played together, Zach Thorne, you know, these are legends uh, of the club, and so many people that care, and it's just a great and uh, feeling and an honor. Uh, and then. You know, we wanted to do well for the club, you know, and, and knowing that also Jesse Marsh was here, Chris Armas, Logan Pauls, you know, Evan Woodfield that works also for the club. You know, they came and, uh, you know, uh, it was really something special because they came in the locker room. These are all guys that have put this jersey and they're, they're great players. They, they meant so much. So it was really all that put together with what happened last night. It was, it was a huge and important win for, uh, for, for the club, and they showed a lot of character because this is a good St. Louis team. Um, Adnan Bashi Dravel, what were the last two days like for you personally, getting this job and then immediately having to prepare for a game like this? Difficult, you know, obviously difficult because, like I said, we know, you know, when you're in this business, you know, I've been there on the other side, so, so I, I know what it, what, what it feels like. Uh, on the human side, you have relationships with people that you spend two years. They're very good people. So emotionally, you know, yeah, it's not a great feeling, you know. And uh, uh, then you have a really short time to prepare. Uh, and for me, it's, you know, the, the only thing that I really focused on is, like, be very clear with certain things to the team, give them confidence, give them belief, and uh, let them come out and, 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 and show that on the field. And, and the most important thing was just to, to compete and leave everything on the field. That's what I said before. I mean, obviously, we talked about some things tactically, which they did. But more than anything, you can't overdo it. There was a lot the last couple of days. And uh, sometimes the less we say and do uh, and the more we can build team chemistry and unity and belief uh, is better than, you know, like I read from one coach, 1,000 hours of tactics, good team chemistry and, uh, and mentality within the group and culture uh, goes way more than anything I could have done in the field for like an hour. Thank you. Uh, Luis Peguero from to the, to the end of Deportes y Más 12.20. First of all, congratulations on the game tonight. It's, you, it's always good to start with right foot. But what, are you gonna, uh, what do you think that San, uh, San Luis is going to do different than what he did tonight? You know, they might, they, they play, obviously, in some different formations. You know, they can play in a diamond. They played in 4 2, two, two. I don't think a team is going to really change their identity. You know, there's a core that you can just see there. They like to play very direct. They're a team that they position very well to win second balls. Uh, they're a good counterattacking team. But they also they have some special players. If you give them space and time, you know, they, they, they can hurt you. So... You know, they'll probably look at the tape. I mean, obviously, we'll adjust some things also, and we, we could have a different look because depending with some injuries of players that might be available for Saturday. But uh, uh, I, I don't think they're going to change too much as far as, like, their, their, their identity as a team, you know, their style of play and what I saw, you know, what I saw tonight. You know, maybe some players are back from injuries. They might present different, different problems. But overall, uh, what we saw tonight, we can expect Saturday. Brian, you're killing me. How many you got, huh? Okay. Yes, coach. Uh, uh, I saw the rooster of St. Louis, and I think they they use four, four uh, bench players to play tonight. Maybe yeah. they're saving to play on, on Saturday. So also you, you have a, a team that 
have a lot of injured players. So I want to know your opinion about uh, if a team underestimate you to play some bench players. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I think they have some injuries. I saw a pretty good team there. Uh, you can see the results that they've had throughout the season. Um, I think it's a very good team. Uh, but you can see also that if you look at our roster, we didn't have the full team either. If you look at players that have been starting, for me, it really doesn't matter if uh, Rafa Chizos is out or Carlos Teran is out. I don't believe in one player making a difference on the field. I believe within the team because if I put all the emphasis on Shakiri, what happened if Shakiri misses the games? Is the team going to crumble or are they going to come to? It's all about the team for me. The team played great today. Team spirit, they fought till the end. We, we, we grew stronger to the end. And yeah, we found a way. We gave up a goal, obviously, but we found a way to, you know, to, to close it out. So yeah, yeah. I don't know what, to, what else to say to answer your question. You know, I don't think they underestimated us. I think they're a team that I believe they tried to win the game. And don't forget, they only played one half, less than a half in Dallas because it was rained out. So, you know, they should have been fresher. Hey, Coach. Vanessa Hoxa with uh, Rambler Sports Soccer at Loyola University. Congratulations on the win tonight. Can you just talk a little bit about what this win means for the team and your confidence going forward into, into the next game? So, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of confidence. It's always great. You, you put, you're in a situation like that, and, 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 and uh, you know, we start with a win. We've always put, as a club, big emphasis on the Open Cup. You know, I talked to the team a little tactically, but I also had the video team put together a little video, 45 seconds in a short time, to talk about, to really, for all the players to understand what this means to us. We're one of three teams, obviously, it's us, uh, Kansas City and Seattle, that has won four U.S. Open Cups. And, you know, short video to really highlight the, the ones that we've won. And in the end, it says 2023. And I told the guys, the journey has started already. This is the second game. I said, hey, let's make history and, and lift one together with the Cup. So this was a really difficult match. We came out ahead. And we're not going to expect any of the other ones to, to be any easy. But in order to achieve something, nothing's going to come easy. I think we have to work extremely hard. We know that. And it's not one or two players. We have to do it as a team. And we have to rely on the team. So, yeah, it's, it's special. It's special, but... We have to move on, you know? Tomorrow's another day. We can't dwell on it too long. We gotta be even keel. If we would have won the MLS Cup, we'd still be celebrating now. So unfortunately not. We got a long way before that to the end of the season to get there. So it's just one game. It's great, we move on, but we gotta also be realistic and down to earth and uh, gotta continue to work because we have we have also a long way to to go. Just very quickly, uh, what's uh, how are Shihos and Tehran doing? And do you anticipate them possibly being ready for Saturday? Uh, I, I think they're very close. Uh, they're telling me that they will be ready. But then we will see. And on, on, on the other side, also, we have Jairo Torres that's been training. Jairo, so I think he will be available to give us minutes. And that's another very qual uh, quality player that we've, we've missed for a long time. I mean, he's a designated player. A great kid, so much quality. Unfortunately, you know, when you have one injury, sometimes you want to come back. He wants to help the team so much and, and do so much and repay the trust that we put on him. But then, you know, he, he's rushing it and he's had some setbacks, but he's looked great in training and I think he will be available. So that's another quality player that we have to be smart to bring him along. So, they, I mean, if those three guys could be, you know, I know Iro is going to be ready. Torres will be ready if, you know, the other two, especially the way that, that uh, St. Louis plays, it'll be, it'll be huge. But I did feel that Pineda, Mari Pineda, and White. Mari Pineda, I think, came in in a difficult game because the kid hasn't played. You know, I put him in the back. He was incredible tonight. I take my hat off. I, I love Mari, and, and I think he had a lot of confidence going in, but also the two in front. I mean, our back four, I mean, Gaston Jimenez and Federico Navarro, these are, the, I think, for me, the best games that I've seen them play. Gaston was really incredible tonight. And I don't know what this guy Kai Kamara, man, I think he's drinking some Greek olive oil because I don't know. Uh, he looks like he's 25, running like 25, not uh, what his age is. So he must be lying to everyone. So, yeah, you know, overall, it's great performance, man. 
Let's hope they're healthy, those guys. Thank you, guys, huh?